So this is a native annual, only lives a year. It goes by a bunch of common names. Um, the, the scientific name is Biden's frondosa, um, but it's sometimes called uh, devil's beggar tick. It's sometimes called common beggar tick. It's sometimes called devil's pitchfork. Uh, it sometimes goes by uh, the name of uh, bootjack, stick tight, leafy beggar tick, all sorts of tick seed. Well, although less applied to this one, tick seed, sunflower, and burr marigold. But those are also applied to much showier species than this. But this is a really common annual. It's in every county in Virginia and most of the area. And uh, again, it is an annual, so it produces a ton of seeds. And those seeds, again, um, here's a little bunch of them forming. Oh, here's a better one right here. This are a bunch of the seeds forming, and I don't know if you can make it out or not, but um, the ends of them, let me see if I can pull one off. They're still green, but if I can pull one off, what I'd like to show you, or here, just break one off that way, is may, you might be able to see on the end that it has two little, um, two little fork-like uh, attachments, two little things. That's the Bidens. Bidens meaning two teeth, two little uh, paired, little like fork-like attachments. That's how it sticks to everything. Again, uh, this one's still green, but you get the idea. Stick tights, they beggar ticks, uh, all sorts of names like that because those little, those little ends to them stick right to you and uh, to an animal. And that's how the seeds are dispersed. Comes through, then the animal, the fox, deer, person, whatever, then has to clean himself off. And when he does, he spreads the seed to a new place. So this thing spreads like crazy. Sometimes it's a very, uh, it has some florets that are kind of visible. Other times the flowers have lost a lot of their petals before they even get going. Um, it's quite variable. Um, sometimes, sometimes lots of little rays, sometimes not so many. Um, and again, that's typical of this, Beggle, a beggar's, uh, devil's beggar tick. Um, it produces a ton of seeds. It can really grow weedy. Um, in fact, in other parts of the country, like New, not in other parts of the world, like New Zealand, this little guy is actually an invasive. So here it is native to us, luckily, but an invasive in other places. So a very cool little, um, little plant that here does have a role to play. It is native to our area um, and, uh, and, and you know, provides nectar and food and so forth. But again, in another location, this would cause issues. And this may be one that you curse later on when you end up having those little Bidens, the two teeth little um, attachments to beggar ticks themselves stuck on your clothes and you're trying to pull them off. Devil's beggar tick, Biden's frondosa, pitchfork, devil snares, one of our most common um, late summer, early fall blooming annuals. Each plant only surviving one year and thus producing a ton of seeds to survive the, for the continuation of the species.